Okay guys, so we're going to be making some homemade mascarpone cheese. It's quite simple. These are the ingredients here that we're going to need. So we're going to need two cups of heavy cream and one tablespoon of lemon juice or one tablespoon of lime juice. So let's head over to, to, to the stove and let's get started. What we're going to be using actually is a double boiler. We're going to heat up the milk. We don't really want it to, to bubble as such. We just want it to get, when you start to see fine little bubbles around the edge, then we're going to add in our lime juice and we're going to continue stirring until it thickens. And when it coats the back of the spatula, then we will take it off the heat, allow it to cool, and then we will add it to this here. Now you can either use cheesecloth or you can use some other linen. But what I'm going to use is, um, this is the, the coffee filter. So we're going to pour the cooled mixture into here. We're going to cover it and we're going to put it in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow we would have now our homemade mascarpone cheese. So let's head over to the stove. Okay, so we have our double boiler set up here. We're just going to put this other pan here where we have the milk. And we're going to continue stirring because we don't want the cream to stick. So we're going to continue stirring until we start to see little bubbles around the edge. When we see that, then we will add our lime juice to our cream mi mixture and we will continue stirring until it thickens up and starts to coat the, the back of our spatula. So we're just going to continue stirring this until we see the little bubbles appear. By doing a double boiler method we you now we can do it we could have done this directly on the stove top i have done that in the past what i did when i did it directly i coated the bottom of on the sides of my pan with some butter and then i put the cream in to help to prevent the cream from sticking and of course you have to stir um, continuously but by doing, using a double boiler method it helps you control the temperature of the cream better. Okay, so now that our cream is heated through, we're going to add the lime juice to it. And then we're just going to continue stirring. So you can see how it has thickened up. I added, as soon as I add, added the lime juice, it has started to thicken. So we just continue stirring again. And then we're gonna take this off of the heat, allow it to cool completely. And then we're gonna put it in our, pour it into our uh, coffee filter with the bowl underneath to catch any liquid that will seep out. But of course we have to put this overnight, leave this overnight in the refrigerator. Okay guys, so now that our cream mixture has cooled, we're now gonna pour it into here very carefully. Okay, so we're going to cover this with some plastic wrap and we're going to leave this overnight and come tomorrow we would have a homemade mascarpone cheese. Mm -hmm. 
So let's check out our mascarpone cheese. Now this has been in the fridge overnight. And as you can see at the bottom there, you have the whey um, at the bottom of the bowl, the liquid there. But what we have on top now is the mascarpone cheese. So that right there is your mascarpone, your homemade mascarpone cheese. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget you can share with family and friends and if you found the video to be helpful you can give it a thumbs up. Bye for now. See you in the next video.